What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. I'm at Overland Expo Pacific Northwest. I'm at the Off Grid Trailers booth. Introduce yourself to the world and tell us what you got. I am Corey, the marketing manager with Off Grid Trailers. Uh, and today we're going to talk about the Expedition 2.0 and we're going to go over some changes since your last video at SEMA in 2019. Nice, let's go. A couple of the key things that we've changed since the last video you would have seen here is all of our doors, rather than outsourcing them to a third party, we decided to design them and build them in-house. So you get a much more solid, sturdy door. It's, they're thick, they're durable, you can slam them closed, you're not going to break anything. That is the toughest, thickest door on a teardrop I've ever seen. I would seen. say, <laughs> I mean, I don't want to go out here and claim anything, but these may be the most well-built doors on a teardrop it's trailer. It's like an automotive door. It almost yeah. looks like a Jeep door. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's dual plane glass. Uh, all our walls are, are nine insulated. Wow, that's cool. That's impressive. Very cool. Uh, the other big thing that we're super proud of is actually underneath the trailer. So we've been working with Fabtech Motorsports on a new trailing arm suspension. So this is a independent suspension with a trailing arm, a coil spring, and a two and a quarter inch dirt logic shock. So you, you get, yeah, so you get eight inches of wheel travel. All the valving has been custom designed to our trailer. So you get good travel, good travel, whether you're loaded or unloaded, it kind of, it adapts to the load you have on it. Man. You get the same electric brakes. You'd fit up to a 35 inch tire if you want. And then these are just for when you're camping. These are stabilizing jacks. Yeah. Oh, they're built in. Yeah, they're, they're attached down there. So you can run those. If you can take them off if you don't want them. That's an option, so you don't have to get them. Um, one nice thing about them is in a pinch, you can use it to lift the trailer up and change a tire. Uh, so well, I remember the back when I first met you guys, yeah. one of the big selling points is a lot of the campers out there don't have this. Yeah, so this is a 50 degree departure angle. Um, inside this departure angle is where you have a 31 gallon water tank. So plenty of water when you're going off grid, when you're camping. Um, lots of storage in the back. These still so these shelves are adjustable. You can see on this side we shoved them all the oh, way yeah. up to fit some boxes. Nice. But so yeah, you you end up with sort of six compartments, however you want to configure it. Um, yeah, we're I like that. Love. Very cool. And you still have a two inch. Receiver. We still have a two inch rear receiver for you know if you want to run a bike rack um, or use it as a you know, little recovery point or whatever you want to do back there. Very cool. How about your awning? So the awnings are all optional. Um, the roof rack is rated a thousand pounds, static load rating, rating. So you can put your tents, your awnings, any brand, anything will fit is on it. it. Standard to have the roof rack. The stand, the roof rack is standard. The tents, awnings, anything fabric, that's all optional. We work with twenty three zero on them, but you can go, you can go no tent, no awning, and put your own stuff on it if you already have a tent or an awning. Nice. Yeah, I love twenty three zero. You know they make good stuff. Yeah, we're uh, we're really happy with them. What's this right here? This is your shower. So this is a shower enclosure. So it come if I'm around back here. It'll come standard with this hot water on demand system. And then it has your shower and you just hook it on up here and you're ready to go. Um, this is the optional furnace. It's a 6500 BTU Profex furnace. So water, hot water on demand. So hot water on demand, and then this and is then furnace for inside, furnace inside to keep you, keep you warm. warm. So camping in the wintertime. Right? We live in Canada, <laughs> right? Yeah, you, I said it before. You yeah. guys know how to camp up there. Yeah, nice. Uh, and then inside, you get a full queen-size bed. Storage in the back. This one has the optional TV. If you went with no TV, you'd get an extra compartment back there with an extra door to put more stuff in. Uh, these are some shelving options we have. I don't think I've seen those before. Yeah, so this is an option for uh, the shelves. They just kind of clip up out of the way, pull them down. Um, one new thing we've done is 
The fire extinguisher is now a standard feature, uh, safety first. So you get your smoke detector, all those sort of safety features. And I remember um, guys were asking in the comments before in the other yeah. video about a full metal um, trailer like this. Yeah. How, how do you guys deal with like, condensation or is there any condensation? You will get condensation if you have the furnace on and the window shut and the max fan off. Oh, okay. But if you turn the fan on, crack the windows a little, yeah. you're good to go. Yeah, exactly. But no, if you seal it up, it will seal up and you will get condensation. I mean, that's just science. Yeah. You know, almost any box. Any, bo really any box, right? Yeah. If you're breathing, you know, hot air, the <laughs> propane uh, furnace, you know, propane burns a little wet. And... Nice. I see a controller there. What is that? So that's a controller for the max fan. So you have multiple speeds. You can have it to suck air in or blow air out, depending on what you're trying to do with it. Uh, there's another thing that I like too. Uh, is you guys have so squared off fenders. These squared off fenders, um, more useful on the other side where you're next to the galley kitchen, you can use it as a bit of a cutting board prep space, but they're also rated to stand on. So you can yeah. close this up, hop up here and climb right up on the roof. Yeah, you guys have these built-in steps too. Yeah. That's cool. Your propane, this yeah. is just a standard size propane. Standard size propane bottle. Um, we offer a secondary propane bracket that you can mount wherever you want, but we found that, you know, the 11 pound seems to work just fine. Yeah, depending on how long you're going for. But it depends on you. Depends on what you're doing and, you know, how much hot water you're using, how much heat you're using, how much you're going to cook. So The only reason why I brought that up is because my wife would probably yeah. use more than me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, uh, this is obviously where you fill your tank. Yeah, that's the water fill. How many gallons again? Thirty-one. Thirty-one. That's pretty good for such it's a. It's a lot of. Gallon. It's a lot of water. For a tiny camper. That's, yeah. That's pretty good. Yeah. So what about in the front here? So up in this front box, you get a dual battery setup. That's standard. Um, the standard, you get a thousand watt inverter. This is the upgraded two thousand watt pure sign inverter. A bunch of storage, and on the other side, you have your fridge slide. Let's go take um, a look. Oh wait, before we go over there. Yeah. This is cool. So this front box is now standard which i it was not in 2019. um you can you know throw firewood up there we've mounted this 230 gearbox it fits perfectly coincidentally it's the 102 liter box from them so that's a handy spot it's, again, it's perfect you throw what you know your awning walls in it your the stuff that kind of gets a little dirty and you want don't want to put inside the trailer you can just throw up on there I noticed this too. This is a nice touch. If something comes here, it kind of bounces. Yeah, a little more protection there. So this is the Max Coupler. It's it's an option that 99% of our customers go with. It just works way better than a ball hitch for the articulation when you're off-roading. Is it pretty quiet too? Oh, it's way quiet. There's no bumping. You don't hear like it yeah. bump and clunk and whatever because <laughs> it's it's got these urethane bushings. It pivots nicely. You just make sure you keep it greased and you'll have no issues there. That's a big deal. People, I, you don't think about it. Well, don't think about greasing these, but you do. You have to grease both sides. Yeah. Um, we recommend you do it before every trip. Mm -hmm. nice. Is this standard too? So this is the upgraded jack. Um, the standard is a Fulton 1500. Oh, this is an yeah. ARC XO jack. Gets you the dual wheels, a little more heavy duty. Yeah. It folds up and kind of gets out of the way nicer too. It pins in place and you can keep it like up and not affect your ground clearance. Yeah, nice. um, and it's just a little more heavy duty. It looks like it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, full size spare, that's a nice Full size spare, that's an option. Um, we run a 265 70 17 as the standard tire size. Uh, but a lot of, you know, you can fit up to a 35, so some people pull them off and, you know, swap them out. But you can adjust this mount and fit a 35 spare as well. This is actually just a little front runner uh, grill. Grill. Because yeah. these, so these are demos for the show, but we also do actually camp with them. Oh, so, okay, cool. you know, this we took it down to Expo West. We brought it through Moab. Yeah. We've we've been out with them. So, you know, there's a there's a couple little things that are just like what we have on them for our own personal use. And I, I remember the first time I saw one of these, I didn't even know what it was. Yeah. Uh, and then they're like, "Oh, that's a grill." I'm like, "Oh, that's it's they're perfect. super cool." Yeah, <laughs> for sure. Very cool. Yeah, you bet, guys. Uh, let's go take a look on the other side. Sure. So this is the fridge. Yeah, uh, 55 liter fridge is what's standard. 
This is the upgraded, it's 69 liters, it's by Truma. It's a dual zone, so you get the fridge and freezer. I love those dual zones. Yeah. You can't live without them. Once you got one, yeah, you yeah, can't live without yeah. them. You can bring ice cream. Yeah, I got the kids, man. <laughs> right, <Everybody> yeah. <laughs> love it, man. Can you demo uh, it going yeah. in? Locks in place. Just pulls out. And it's not too far from where you're where you're cooking right here. Yeah, it's all kind of like in the general area, which is yeah. Cool. This is this is a good idea too. Yeah, so you just get a little more like you know prep space and counter space. And then this nice little touch. Man, it's yeah. like a full blown kitchen out here. That's it's what like we're doing. Chef doing. kitchen out here. That's what we're going for. That's nice. This is the this was really cool when I first yeah. saw this. Like I think I still think you're the only ones doing it. I think I think we are the only ones with this. It makes sense because um, the ones that slide in take up space inside. Oh, totally. Yeah. And then a couple new things that we've added as options. So this is our spice rack, nice. um, paper towel holder, okay. and then this is a windscreen. There are two more pieces, but we didn't want to block the stove off too much for people who wanted to look at it. Yeah. So. Love it, man. Can you demo putting it away? Um, or... it might take me a couple seconds. Okay. I just got to unscrew this. I you know it is. The number of people who are like, oh, can I just buy this box for my own home build <laughs> is uh, is also pretty high. Yeah, we just do a collapsible bucket. Is that a speaker back here? And then these are speakers, yeah. Oh, so wow. you have uh, Bluetooth stereo. That's awesome. And that just folds up and clips in. So it clips in with like a rubber. Little kind of, yeah. And then it's just sort of folds in here and locks away. That's the biggest selling point. Now go ahead and set it all back up. I love the fact that it just tucks away, man. That is so cool. What does that do? Just lock right here on the door? Yeah, so here I can show you how it kind of goes in. Oh, yeah. Nice big heavy duty. So that, that, and then you're set you don't in there. You not have to put any legs here. No legs, yeah. You're good and solid. It's all attached to the door. Love it. Very cool. So if a guy wanted to buy this right now, yep. what's the turnaround on these things? So we actually have a few trailers that we've been building into the schedule as we call them inventory units that are ready sooner. But if you wanted to do a custom order, you're about three to four months right now. Okay. So not too affected by the supply chain issues? We really ramped up production. Um, we used to be six to eight months out. Um, so we really focused, we put a big focus on that for a while and now we've sort of caught up. Um, where are you guys located? Because I know there's a lot of guys that are like, oh, I want to stop by and take a look. Is that a thing that they So can our head office is in Edmonton, Alberta. We have a place you can view trailers in Lake Havasu, Arizona. It's called Lee Dog Motorsports. And we also have one in San Antonio, Texas. And it is called Basic Camp Provisions. Some people were asking in the comments last time too about um, something being made in Canada and coming across the border. Yeah. How does that work? So yeah, we build them all up in Canada. And then our team helps process all the paperwork. It gets delivered to you. And then you have to go into your local DMV register it but you'll have all the forms and paperwork so you it's need really not that bad. it's really not that bad of a process no Very cool. all right so that's the rundown on the expedition 2.0 all the upgrades that we saw since the last time i came by um, if guys want to know more about you guys what's the contact information uh so you can go to offgridtrailers.com or find us on instagram at offgridtrailers or check out our youtube channel offgridtrailers